What time is it? Well, it's time for a comic haul. Stick around if you want to see what I got. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, my comic book collectors. This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And here's a video I haven't done in a long time, and that is do a comic haul. I mean, I do a lot of unboxing and many other comic book videos, but I have not done a comic haul in a while. So I thought I would do one now. So hopefully you will enjoy. And if you do watch until the end, please stick around all the way to the end, because at the end of every video, I do a surprise subscriber shout out. And all you have to be is a subscriber. And you can ask for one, and I will put you on a list. Just keep in mind, it can take a while sometimes. But with that being said, let's get into the comic haul. Now, this is a, a book where I only got a couple of them on a comic book Wednesday. So I never showed these because I only had like two or three books. And to me, that's not worth making a video on. But this is Amazing Spider-Man issue number one. This is just the regular cover. Uh, I got two of those, so I paid cover price for this. I'm not sure how much it's gone up since then or if it has. And then I got two of these again for cover price. Uh, this is just, I believe it's just cover B. I know it wasn't like a 1 in 25 variant or anything like that, but this is the Young Guns variant. Again, I paid the uh, cover price for that. All right. This, these two books were just throws in, throw-ins for the other book that I have. This is Batman Dark Knight issue number two, and this is Black, um, Batman Dark Knight issue number three. Not sure if there's any significance. I like that cover. Looks pretty cool. Almost looks like um, David Finch's kind of work, but uh, definitely not bad for throw-ins. But it was based on this particular book, which is... Um, I believe the first appearance of Talon, because um, I know with the Court of Owls, there's rumors going around that they would appear in one of the DV, uh, I can't speak today, one of the DC TV shows. So I was telling people a couple of months back to get these books, especially if you can get them cheap. I only spent nine, <coughs> excuse me, $9.80 for this book. And like I said, they threw in the other two books. I mean, at two ninety nine dollars a piece, you know, three six nine. Basically, that's basically like paying cover price for these. So, very happy with that. Definitely a book to get. I mean, at least this one, especially if you can get it for cheap, because many people aren't talking about it right now. Uh, this is another book I picked up a little while ago, but uh, I didn't think it was worth doing an unboxing video on. But this is Infinity Wars issue number one. This is the one in 25 variant. Uh, this is the quote unquote death of Thanos, which we know there is no such thing as death. In the comic book world, but I paid sixteen dollars and eleven cents for that. Um, not sure what it's worth these days, but hey, you know, it was worth it when I bought it, and to me, that's all that matters. Uh, this is another book that people bought a while ago. Uh, this it was a two-part set. They sold it for this is Thor, God of Thunder, issue number one, and issue number two, which is the first Gore symbiote and the Necro Sword. Haven't had the opportunity to read this book, but uh, number six is the one that everybody really wants. But number two was also something that was in demand. I paid $10.74 each for these, so not that bad. And worth taking the chance on. Who knows how far that character will go. But thanks to the Venom series, uh, a lot of people were hunting for these books. Six was just, I felt like I just missed the opportunity and for the price that people want. Um, it definitely has not risen since that time, around the $40 or $50 range for number six. So I was like, why would I want to buy it at peak? So I passed up on that. But I got two more of the issue number twos. Uh, paid a little bit more for these than I did that one. I paid $21.50 for this one and $22.50 for this one. So we'll see what happens, but, you know, they're in, um, looks to be near mint condition. Uh, I see one tiny microscopic little color break increase right there, but, uh, I mean, that's not even a millimeter wide or long. All right, so another one where it came with a set of comics at different prices. This is Eternal number 14. Nothing significant about that one. Five bucks. 
Uh, this is Eternal number five, which is the first Domo, Makari, Thera, and Zurus. Who knows? Because, you know, there are rumors that, it, well, they're actually confirmed at this point, there will be Eternals in the Marvel Universe. So who knows if any of those characters come into play. This is one of the definite ones I would recommend. Pay 13 for this. This is uh, issue number two, the first appearance of the Celestials. So considering they're going to be getting into the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with a lot of the space kind of uh, adventure stuff, uh, Celestials will definitely, in my opinion, really become something important. So this is a key book to get, and I only paid $13 for this. So this is the first Ajax and the Celestials. Definitely pick that up, Eternals number two, if you can. And of course, and I only paid 14 for this. I have several of these, uh, but this is the Eternals issue number one. Looks to be in fine, very fine, because there is some dirt along the edges here. Uh, otherwise, the colors look pretty decent. Uh, this book is already a 30 to $50 book, and that's just with the speculation. You know what will happen. There will be a lull for a little while. Most people won't think about it. And then all of the sudden... You will see a eventually in another two years probably um, them start talking about making the movies, and when they show a trailer, that's when people mostly jump on board. So that still has room to grow. So if you can get it for under forty, definitely find it. But as you can see, deals can still be found. This is definitely another book I highly recommend people getting. Anytime I see a deal on this book, I will purchase it. This is Iron Man and Submariner. It was a one-shot uh, issue number one. This predates both Iron Man number one and the Submariner number one. So this is a very undervalued book, in my opinion. Um, who knows if Submariner will ever end up seeing the light of day in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But then again, they have so much money, I'm sure they could, if they really wanted him... They'd make out some kind of deal. I mean, look what they're doing with Amazing Spider-Man. Look what they do with the Incredible Hulk. Because remember, the Hulk is owned by Universal. And yet you still see him in Avengers movies. So, I mean, if they wanted him bad enough, they could have it. And if Aquaman does really well, you could safely say that other, you know, other movie companies love to follow success of what others do. So if Iron Iron Man, if Aquaman becomes something of a popular movie and people really enjoyed it and it makes money, because that's really what they care about, I think they would eventually find a way to work a deal because it's it's hard to determine who actually owns Submariner. So um, it's definitely not owned by Marvel. So, but they could buy it. I only paid thirty three dollars for this book. Definitely worth getting. I mean, the colors are absolutely amazing. Um, it's got some dirt around here. It looks like there's a little piece missing in the corner. There's some um, of what they call dog ears here. A line, a couple of little breaking color creases. There's some creases along the spine. So definitely for a Silver Age book, I would say this is probably a 4.0 to a 4.5. Not bad, especially for 33 bucks. Definitely a book to get if you can get it. All right, three more books to go. This is another book I was recommending years ago. But I found a deal. This is hard to get a deal these days. This is Shazam number one. This is probably my sixth or seventh copy of this book. Uh, this is the uh, original Captain Marvel. But he's no longer called Captain Marvel. He's called Shazam. So this is his first appearance since the Golden Age. This is his first issue. So definitely. It's actually technically the first appearance of Shazam. Because remember, before that, he was called Captain Marvel. But because they don't own the rights anymore, they called the title of this book and call him Shazam. So this is technically Shazam's first appearance. Definitely a book to get. It has been getting hotter. Uh, I think the trailer looked absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know if the movie will be amazing because I have learned, like, for example, with Suicide Squad, a good trailer does not always amount to a good movie. So I'm holding my reservations and holding my breath. But I will give it a shot because it looks like it could be a fun movie. Hopefully it will be. And if it is, this book is definitely going to continue to rise. And you know they will make a sequel, provided it's good and does make money. Because like I said, you can have a bad movie that makes a lot of money and they'll still continue it. All right. This one is the steal of the week. I cannot believe I got this for the price I did. I mean, I didn't find it at the dollar bin, but I definitely didn't pay what most people are paying. This is Fantastic Four, issue number 18. 
this is the first appearance of the Super Scroll. Now, I have the first appearance of the Scrolls, which is Fantastic Four issue number two. I bought it a couple years ago before they even announced the Disney Fox deal and uh, the Captain American movie with the, the, the Captain Marvel movie with the Scrolls being in that movie. So I lucked out with that one. But this one I only bought about a month ago, maybe a little less. And this was actually one of the books that was in the uh, Choose It or the Key or Dud videos, but no one ever ended up picking it as one of the key issues. Um, a lower grade goes for about 150 and up. So I don't know if the Super Scroll will actually make it into a movie at this point, but who knows? At least it's still a scroll, and that's popular at this point. Whether, whether they continue it or not remains to be seen. But for the price I paid, I mean, you could see here... Well, actually, you probably can't see that. Let me lift this up a little bit. Well, actually, I'll just bring it closer to the camera. You can see there's a little piece missing there. There's some, you know, color breaks along the edge. Just a tiny little piece that chipped off. There are some color breaking spine creases. A little bit of a spine roll, but that could be pressed out. Uh, there is a little bit of a stain right here. Um... I checked the book. It does not go through. There is what looks to be a little tear right in the center here that does break color. So I would say this is probably a 3.0 to a 3.5. But even still, I paid a total of $67 for this book. And of course, that includes shipping and handling. So a 0 0.5 goes for about a buck $1.25, $100, somewhere in that range. So to get this book at under $100... And it's definitely not a 0 0.5 because I did check. Both staples are attached. Centerfold is attached. And I highly recommend you open your books when you get them to check. Um, for that price, I definitely not cannot complain. All right. Last but not least, it is a modern book. But for the price I paid for it, I cannot complain. Because especially with the rumors going around with The Walking Dead, you are going to be able to get these books for cheap. Or at least cheaper than what you could have. Considering the rumors of you know, the main character, you know, Rick Grimes leaving. Now, they didn't say he's dying. They said he's leaving. Now, people can leave and actually come back if they're not dead. So I have a feeling, and this is just my opinion, I don't know if it's right or not, but I have a feeling that um, they're not going to kill him. It's going to be some event where you might think he's dead, but he might come back at some point because they've basically said that he might even appear again in season 10, just not as much. So I hope that's the case because, I mean, without Rick Grimes, there is no Walking Dead because the story is based on his life. But this, I mean, again, people tend to base things on overreacting and emotion. So a lot of people have been selling and getting rid of their Walking Dead comic thinking it's going to become worthless. I do not agree with that. But this is triple signed. This is signed by, right here on the bottom, Charlie Adler. This is also signed by Tony Moore. And this is signed by Robert Kirkman. Now, this doesn't have a certificate of authenticity, but I have a bunch of their signatures. I've seen them many times. I did some research to compare them with others that are verified, and those are legit signatures. I mean, Kirkman's signature is absolutely atrocious. You'd have no idea what that would be if no one told you, but it's consistent with others. Same thing with Tony Moore and Charlie Adler. I have a bunch of his signatures, so this is definitely legit. Uh, this could be a 9-8. I mean, there are no ticks along the spine. Colors look great. Even with a 9.6, I'd be happy. This is a book I will eventually get graded. But this is the first appearance of Herschel and the first appearance of Maggie. I only paid, with shipping and handling, $115. I've seen this book unsigned for about $75 to $100. So to get a triple signature for that price, I definitely not cannot complain. So... For me, it was worth it. I am still a diehard Walking Dead fan. I will continue to watch the show, even if Rick Grimes isn't on it. I mean, I won't be as thrilled about that, but I still will watch the show. I still have the entire Walking Dead run, so I will continue that and show the support. And uh, where it goes, who knows? But as long as I'm enjoying it, that's what's important. So that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed this little comic book ride and maybe saw something you never saw before. Always look for deals. Don't be afraid to ask for deals. And if you've watched this far, let me know what you are about to see. And i got to find something. All right, let's do this. Ooh, that's a little dirty. Tell me what this is. And, yeah, I keep these things around 
because you never know. So I used to, actually, I have a knife collection. I probably have about 500 different knives and swords and things like that. So if there was ever a Walking Dead scenario, well, here you go. You could take care of a zombie. So put that in there if you saw until this point. Don't forget to wait until the end. And if you see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out and it is not you, at least put in the comment section that um, you said hello or a shout out, your own personal shout out to them. So they will appreciate that, I promise you. It's a nice thing to do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to give it a thumbs up, that's great. If you want to subscribe, that's even greater. And um, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And doesn't Rick Grimes look great wearing a blanket? That's a blanket statement. Ah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out. Enjoy!